Hello everybody, um, welcome to my Inkscape update video um, for the week of September 26th. Uh, my name is Martin Owens. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to all, all of my lovely Patreons that help me to make Inkscape better, fa faster. Um, the, the help that you give me is invaluable and every bit goes into helping make Inkscape a bit better. Um, this week, uh, the first thing I should probably address is the fact that this video is coming out on Saturday instead of Friday. Uh, this week in Boston, where, where I live, was the first week that kids went back to school. Uh, it was relatively late, usually it's a month uh, pre previously. And um, they're, they're doing school from home, so it's all remote. Um, so this week I've been uh, dealing with the stresses of, of trying to get a child to um, get into the habit of going to school. Um, but it also meant that she was, uh, my, my daughter, who is nine, um, she was also uh, quite busy during the, the, the day on fr Friday. So what I've done is I've decided to move my uh, Patreon videos to Saturdays. Um, I hope that this is fine with everybody. I, I think it should be, it should be fine. Uh, it'll give me a little bit more space to basically do these videos um, in my living room um, without too many disruptions or getting in the way of other people people's on online video com conferences. Um, okay, so let's get into what, what was I up to this week. Um, I started the week trying to get back into doing the, uh, the extension manager. And what I managed to do is I managed to figure out that a lot of older extensions, if I wanted to do the, the creator part, they're using old XML conventions. And so I had to uh, basically redo some of the um, parsing that we were using. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if anybody knows XML, but there's namespaces and um, different attributes and, and, and other sort of complexities. Um, and then once I was finished with that, I kind of got, not bored, but kind of frustrated with it. And so I, I, I put it to one side and uh, I spent the, the second part of the week doing a, um, basically work, working on something I felt might be a bit more fun. Um, this is a long standing feature request, which is the ability to uh, select nodes and copy them onto the clipboard, right? So it's basically doing something that, that you assume that Inkscape would do, which is a contextual user experience, which is that if I've, if I've selected something like nodes, then the, um, the Inkscape should copy the thing that I've selected. And Inkscape wasn't doing that. What it was doing is it was selecting the whole object. Um, so what, what this does is it, it, it attempts to uh, put those nodes onto the clipboard. And then I wanted to add a, a feature where if you had selected the node tool and you used paste, you could paste those nodes back in. So the idea behind the, the, the selection is that you're able to select the holes inside of a, existing objects and be able to paste those holes uh, or even extract them. Um, this is very similar to doing a path um, break apart, uh, copying the objects and then reconstructing the, the path uh, back together. But this is a slightly more intuitive, um, but it's, it's limited, right? Because you're only just selecting those nodes and there's some calculation to decide how those nodes are put together. And, uh, you know, it, although it does allow you an interesting thing, which is to select holes between two objects because you can technically select nodes across multiple objects. Um, one of the interesting things is basically being able to copy and paste different pieces of a trace bitmap, uh, right, where you get like an entire um, bitmap and then uh, trace it in, into all of these intricate shapes and then be able to like take pieces of the shape around, away. Um, you can also do interesting things like uh, copy half of a, of a star um, and paste it. Um, so this this feature has a uh, a long way to go before it's complete. So it's still in a, it's still in its in infancy stage, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I, I learned a lot about nodes, uh, a lot about how to um, do so some of the transformations that are required to, to unpick where these nodes actually are on the screen. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an an, an interesting fe feature. It's one of those features that. Um, it fits in the existing paradigm of how things work. And a lot of users 
they do come to us and they ask us, hey, you know, I tried to copy these nodes, but it, it just didn't do what I thought it was going to do. And, and, and that's the key really to good, good design. Did it do the thing you thought it was going to do? Um, and hopefully this will this will improve Inkscape's um, score on that on that regard that you know the, the Inkscape is doing what you think it should be doing when you do a copy command. Um, so I, th I think that's about it for, for this week. I've, I've basically spent my time between that and uh, and other things. Um, thank you all very much for listening, um, and hopefully next week. Uh, I'll be able to give you some updates on either either I'll get back into the extension manager again uh, with with a bit of luck I'll be able to push that forward 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 forwards um, uh, but if not maybe, maybe I'll have uh, some more to show you on this uh, this interesting fe feature or well, who knows maybe maybe something else um, but but either way thank you very much for, for listening and have a very good week <laughs>